let's continue the lecture with uh, recognizing and measuring the goodwill, the bargain purchase, and the non-controlling interest. So by now, uh, hopefully that uh, you really still remember on the definition of what is actually goodwill, when the goodwill is rise, and when where, uh, what is actually a bargain purchase, and also the portion of the non-controlling interest. So goodwill here has a is defined yeah, or arise when the fair value of the net asset of the acquiree is less than the fair value of equity shares held by all the acquirer. When the uh, acquirer yeah, paid the consideration transferred or the purchase price is actually more than the fair value of the net asset of the acquiree or the subsidiary. So the purchase price is more than the fair value of net asset resulted in goodwill. It is a premium paid in the acquisition of shares. It is only recognized in the consolidated financial statements, only in the business combination uh, treated as a single entity. All right, and then for the bargain purchase arises when the price paid for the fair value of the asset of the acquiry is less than the fair value of the net asset of the acquiry on the acquisition date. So here you can see that the purchase price paid is less than the fair value of the net asset of the acquiry. So the, the parent, the acquirer, paid actually less than the fair value of the net asset of the uh, acquiree. Right, so that leads to the bargain purchase of the from the business combination. For non-controlling interest, uh, when the acquirer, the holding company or the parent company, and these terms are used interchangeably, did not acquire 100% interest in the owning shares of the subsidiary or the acquiry, the other members of the subsidiary are collectively known as non-controlling interest. So from if the subsidiary has the 100% of shares, so if let's say the parent acquire 80%, so you can say that basically NCI, which is the other shareholders, owns 20%. So this is what we call as non-controlling interest. So for the calculation and the steps in uh, determining the, uh, the goodwill and the bargain purchase, uh, you compare with the consideration transferred and uh, what uh, the amount that is paid by the parent. All right, so you can see here at the table, uh, you can see the step one, step two, step 3 and step 4 where the determination of either a goodwill or bargain purchase from the business combination. From step 1, you can see that you have to calculate what is actually the consideration by the investor or the parent here uh, to acquire the control of the subsidiary. All right, so you can see what are the asset transferred or the liability that is incurred by the investor. So it's not only uh, limited to this, but these are basically a usual example of the consideration transferred by the parent. Okay, so they may have the parent, and it may have uh, equity instrument that issued in the process of uh, the consideration, coming up with the consideration transfer and also contingent consideration. So all this eh, is totaled up, you get whatever the consideration paid, transferred by the parent eh, in order to acquire the control of the subsidiary, the purchase price. Uh, it can come from the whatever asset transferred in terms, for example, cashier, or the liabilities that is incurred by the parent, so they actually uh, create bond to raise money in order for them to pay the consideration transport as part of this business combination here, or they may issue uh, shares in order for them to raise cash also as part of the payment and to the uh, acquisition of the of the subsidiary. All right, and then for step number two. Yeah, so the consideration transferred is less with the fair value of the net asset of the subsidiary on the date of acquisition. All right, so the total asset minus total liability, including include the contingent liability, and then equity, share capital, retained earnings, and also derivation on the date of the acquisition. So 
and then step number three before we can actually get the amount of the goodwill or the bargain purchase we need to add with the non-controlling interest so here we are using uh, uh, the there are two methods basically for this um, calculation of the non-controlling interest the amount that is not uh, controlled by the parent is what we call as non-controlling interest in order for for the calculation of this we have a there are two methods basically in calculating the non-controlling interest the first one would be at proportional of fair value of the net asset acquired or can be calculated based on the fair value of shares uh, in subsidiary held by the non-controlling interest for the purpose of this lecture for the purpose of this lesson in the consolidated account in the business combination we are only looking at the first method which is at a proportionate or fair value of the net asset of the subsidiary in order to calculate this non-controlling interest we are only looking at method the first one Okay, the method one which is at my proportion of fair value of net asset we are not looking at the fair value of, of shares all right so let's look at example on how to actually recognize and measure the goodwill costa berhad acquired 800,000 euro shares of scavola berhad on first january 2020 so the first and foremost identifying the acquirer so definitely here so since the question mentioned acquired 800,000 ratios of Scavola. So, Hosta is the is the acquirer and Scavola is the acquiree. Or we can we can say that here is will be the parent and here will be the subsidiary. This is the date of acquisition at the cost of 1.2 million by cash. So just now, remember, consideration transfer can either be the cash or the liabilities that is incurred by the by the parent. So here you can see that only the asset by cash. All right. So this is the consideration transfer, 1.2 million, the amount of the purchase price or the consideration transfer by the acquirer in order for uh, to come into this business combination. All right. So on the date of acquisition, which is the first January 2020, the balance of Skewer Berhad subsidiary. Equity and liabilities comprise the following. So these are the amount and the balance available of the uh, scavola of Rahat. All right. The non controlling interest was valued based on proportion of every asset of scavola on the date of acquisition. So here is already mentioned that the SEI will be calculated using method, the, the, the method number one, which is a proportion of fair value of net asset of subsidiary. Okay, so let's look at the uh, four steps in order to recognize and measuring the goodwill so the first step consideration transfer so they only have from the asset which is the cash so it is given in the question so 1.2 million and then step number two we have to compare with the fair value of net asset so here remember even though the question actually give you uh, the the equity all right of the uh, subsidiary remember the equation the accounting equation asset plus liability equal to equity so that's why even though you do not have the amount which is net asset is basically asset minus liability but since asset minus liability is equal to equity that's why you can show this as part of the calculation because it's the same asset minus liability the net asset here is equal to equity all right so total equity is represented by the ordinary shares the retained profit and the general reserve of the subsidiary on the date of the acquisition here all right so you transfer the amount get the total of 1.3 million so and then the step number three okay step number three you calculate the nci based on the here is already stated proportion of fair value of net asset of subsidiary since you already know the fair value of net asset is 1.3 million that's why this amount you transfer to here the proportion how do you know the proportion of course because if you look at the 800,000 the, the shares that is acquired by the parent and the amount of ordinary share of S is 1 million. So for the parent, the controlling interest is 800,000 divided by 1 million, you get 80%. Therefore, the portion that belongs to NCI will be 20%.
So you can see that here, the 20%, the proportion of NCI times with the fair value of the net asset. Method number one. So therefore, you got 260,000. So you already know the amount of consideration transferred plus NCI. You got 1.4. 1,460,000, then you compare with the fair value of net asset of 1.3 million, you have positive means you pay more, you pay for the premium, all right, so the goodwill, the difference is what we call as uh, well, goodwill, and the difference is what we call as goodwill, 160,000, because the consideration transferred is more than the fair value of the net asset, okay, so therefore it leads to goodwill. All right, so the purchase price or the consideration transferred here more than the fair value of net asset, so you have goodwill of 160,000. So, this is basically on how you calculate the goodwill. Now, let's look at the recording. So, from the calculation that you have done here in the table as under the step one until step number four so if you were to transfer into the journal entry so you can see that the first one is on the recognizing the investment in s in subsidiary okay and then of course the transaction where you actually come up with the 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 recognized uh, the, the recognition of the goodwill and also the non-controlling interest all right so you can refer to here all right, for the journal entry of the transaction in identifying and recognizing the goodwill. How about now? Another, another, uh, another outcome from the business combination on the date of acquisition, if you do not have goodwill, you may have bargain purchase. So we have looked at the example for goodwill. Now let's look at the example if from the business combination, you have a bargain purchase. So, Costa Berhad acquired 800,000 ordinary shares of Skebuda Berhad. So, again here, you have to identify who is the acquirer. So, Costa is the acquirer, the parent. Skebola is the subsidiary. So, you can see that they acquired 800,000 from 1 million units of the ordinary share of S. So, you can see that the parent acquire. 80% of the shares, so NCI portion would be 20%. And the amount, the consideration transferred is at the cost of 950000 by cash. So you can see that uh, the, the previously, the, the amount is more than this uh, 950000 Okay, on the date of acquisition, the balance of Skewola Berhad equity and liabilities comprise of the following. Remember still the equation asset and minus liability and what we call as net asset is still equal to equity. non contrary interest was valued based on the proportion of the fair value of the net asset. Alright, so now according to the four steps. First one, consideration transfers, you take whatever amount is given and whatever amount that is paid, the purchase price paid by the parent. So they have to pay cash out 950000 And then you call, calculate first the fair value of net asset, step one. Step two, fair value of the net asset. Remember the equation, asset minus liability here, equal to equity. So that's why you have this portion of equity from the calculation given. So you have total of 1.3 million. So this 1.3 million, since you are using method number one in a calculation of the NCI, so the percentage of the interest times with the fair value of the net asset. Proportion, a eh, proportion of the fair value of the net Assets. So you have 260,000 here. So you total up everything, the consideration transferred plus the NCI. So you have 1,210,000 comparing with the fair value of the net asset of 1.3 million. So that's why you are actually paying less than the fair value of the net asset that resulted into what we call as bargain purchase, 90,000. So then of course, eh, so you can refer to how do you record this in a journal entry. So you can see under journal entry number one, where you actually record the amount of the consideration transferred investment in S, and then of course the calculation and where you record the uh, bargain purchase and also the other 
the other item. Alright, so uh, that basically it for this uh, recognizing and measuring the goodwill and bargain purchase.